what up y'all tv is here again and uh we're gonna take another look at another armor up figure from the star wars force awakens we got this one right here it's the first order storm, uh, stormtrooper they're really putting a lot in your mouth with this whole first order star wars awakens just everything it's just like a lot of words it's not like star wars or return of the jedi or empire strikes back it's like stormtrooper first order i don't know it just seems like a lot i'm just i'm just blabbing i, th I think i've um I think I've done too much exercise today, and I'm, my um, head's getting zapped. But anyways, um, speaking of, I've been on hiatus a lot lately, too, because I've been working out a lot. I've been trying to get my body, my mind, my temple back in order. And um, I, a lot of thanks to uh, buddy and brother Wampire for uh, influencing me on that, because uh, he kind of gave me a push and a shove and bugged me for a while about needing to get in shape. And... Um, that's what good friends do, is they, you know, poke and prod you into uh, bettering yourself sometimes. And uh, that's what I've been doing, is just focusing on working out, not so much on the YouTube stuff or um, or Instagram or anything like that. Just been, like, focusing on working out and stuff. Working out and maybe focusing on uh, paying attention more to music than toys lately. I mean, I've always got my head in toys, but at the same time, I like music a lot, too. So, that's, that's a whole other side, a whole other thing. But anyways, enough blabbing. Let's look at this guy. It's pretty neat. Um, I think I like this figure a lot, especially for the armor device. But uh, this looks pretty interesting because it looks like the armor reminds me of like, uh, like, like, um, like Gree and a lot of the Kashyyyk troopers and stuff like that. Some pretty nice art on the box too. I like I like the art. It's pretty cool. Pretty nice detail. And then uh, this logo right here on the side it shows like a forest logo. So I wonder if they're gonna be on Kashyyyk or something like that pretty interesting if so look at some more of the figures and stuff and uh yeah that's pretty much it and um now let's check this sucker out standard first order trooper i believe let's compare him to the other one that we have not much difference at all really pretty much uh, it looks like his legs are spread out a little bit more in his stance so it's a slight difference there but um he still suffers from the walkie leg syndrome, so you got to kind of, you know, position his legs a little bit and just hope he stands up. And, uh, yeah, this is an armor piece. I like this piece a lot. I think it's pretty cool. Like the little red rockets there. It shows, like, one's fired off already, so, you know, he's, he's already starting some trouble, some BS. It's a pretty cool piece. I like it. No telling what you could do with this. Maybe that's a little back visor or something that he could like see through his helmet, or maybe it's like a little jet thing, like you know, I don't know. Could be something. But yeah. And it's pretty cool. It's pretty cool, I dig it. Not all the armor pieces uh from these series are gonna be great, but uh but I I I wanted this one personally. I thought it'd be pretty cool. I thought it looked cool. It's got kind of a cool visor, kind of cool, kind of neat. Ready to blast some fools and ready to shoot some rockets out of people too, so that's pretty cool. And uh, one thing I want to do, which is kind of cheating and kind of a rip-off thing, but I want to do it anyways, is uh, let's put this on another figure and see what it looks like. Let's just do a comparison, comparison-y. And let's put it on a Acid Rain fella. See what it looks like. It sits kind of heavy on a Soul Commander. Not perfect. And again, I don't have his head straight either, but still. But, uh, use it on other figures if you wanted to as a custom, you know, or something. If you wanted to, if you're that bored. And uh, let's put him on a G.I. Joe. And, um, depending on what size of G.I. Joe, yeah, it doesn't work. <laughs> it does not always work. And, uh, yeah, interesting, interesting piece. Doesn't fit on every other figure in the world, but let's see if it fits on a uh, good buddy, a uh, snake bite. Need to get her back, get her going again in her stories. Um, Brother Vampire put out a, a cool uh, PDF file with all my my pictures and one complete comic story, which is pretty cool. And um, I need to, you guys can uh, email me, and I think I believe I can send you that PDF pdf file of that story if you want to check it out it's pretty cool it's on instagram but he put it together more in concise uh, order that looks cool if y'all are interested just give me a personal message and i'll see what i can do 
It's pretty cool. Kind of fits on her, not that well, but oh well. And uh, I always like with pieces like these, I always like to see if they fit on other figures, if they work on other figures. Dang, this doesn't want to come off. Uh oh. I've already popped off a piece. So now you can't, I guess this, you can't pop this off. So let me see. Oh, it clips on. Okay, that's a cl it clips. So you can clip it on. So easy. That's cool. That's cool. And you got it back on. So cool. Anyways, I just wanted to see if this fit on other figures and stuff, just to check it out. But this guy's cool. I like this armor. I like this one. This one, dude. It's pretty cool. Totally reminds me of, uh, was it General Gree, Captain Gree, whatever? The the guy from the Kashyyyk uh, part of the story in uh, Revenge of the Sith. But yeah, it's pretty cool. And Chewy armor kind of reminds me of that too. But uh, yeah, cool figure nonetheless. These guys are going to need stands. I'm thinking about investing in some uh, Star Wars stands because uh, these guys definitely could use some stands, I believe. Most definitely. But not a bad figure nonetheless. Not really bad at all. Anyways, thanks for watching, guys. I got more Star Wars crap coming out my wazoo very soon, today, forever. All right, cool. Later.